Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Hawaiian Merman and this is Ask the Merman. So a little bit of background. I am a marine biologist by profession and in my free time I am also a merman. I figured I would bring some of Hawaii's local animals and share them with you. So for all of those or for all of you who don't get a chance to visit them or to visit Hawaii, here is one of our wonderful creatures. So this is a sea cucumber called Ophiodesoma spectabilis. Now it might look a little bit weird and it does differ from a lot of normal sea cucumbers. Most sea cucumbers that you see have tube feet. So similar to starfish, you'll see small suction-like cups on the underside of their body and they use those to adhere and stick to various surfaces. Ophiodosoma does not have these. It's a little bit unique too in the way that it's very sticky feeling to the touch. The stickiness is actually caused by a lot of small hooks along the body. The feeling that you would get from it compares a lot to kind of touching a spider web, where it's not a sticky, like, gooey feel, but a kind of sticky tackiness. They're a pretty fun little organism, and some do actually get quite large. We find these a lot in Kaneohe Bay in Hawaii. Um, they are a little bit rarer in other areas, and they are a fairly fragile animal. So they're fragile in the way that their body is filled almost entirely with fluid, and they have a very thin skin. So other sea cucumbers, if you pick them up, they feel rather hard or rough. And if you were to try and bend them at all, if you broke one in half, which I do not recommend and do not support, it would be brittle. However, with Ophiodosoma, even the act of lifting it up out of the water can cause its body to split in two because its body is so thin. It feels very similar to a soft plastic bag filled with water when you lift it out of the water. In order to collect this one and make sure that it got here in one piece and I don't harm the animal, I actually collected it underwater. So the way I do that is I took the jar, held it underwater, and gently fanned water at it until I knocked it off of the algae that it was sitting on and into my jar. It did take a little while. It kind of touched my hand a few times and got very sticky and did not want to let go. And I had to be very gentle with this animal. I will be returning it to the wild after I'm done sharing it with you guys. So that's just a little bit about Ophiodosoma spectabilis. The common name for it is the conspicuous sea cucumber. Uh, you do see them in very large congregations. Um, if I can get it to show it off for you, and I believe it had it out earlier, you can see it's feeding apparatus, which is part of its mouth, which is this wonderful feathery-like tentacle structure that you see over here. When you can see that they're going and waving in the water, that is to pick up small particles of various micronutrients. You see them on the reef and on the mud flats where they open up this wonderful branching mouth and wave them in the water, or sometimes they're even funneling small particles into their mouth. And it's I don't know, just a kind of odd, somewhat scary critter at first. There is a little story about it where when I was working at Waikiki Aquarium, we did have um, a visitor call in because he saw one of these on the reef and was very concerned and thought that it was some kind of sick animal or some kind of mutant monster even. And he was just very, very upset that he'd seen one of these and thought that it was a very disconcerting thing. Um, I was able to show him a picture of it in one of the guidebooks and explain to him that it was a sea cucumber. While they are strange in appearance, they're nothing to be afraid of. And if you see one of these, don't be afraid. Don't try and hit it or anything. It's a sea cucumber. It's very gentle. It's not hurting anyone. And that is it for this episode of Ask the Merman. If you have any questions, please leave a like or a comment on the section below. If there are any animals that you want to hear more about, I will happily go out and collect them for you guys. If it is number one, legal to do so, and number two, feasible and possible with the size of the animal. I love to go out and share what I know about Hawaii and marine biology with all of you around the world. So again, feel free, leave a comment below, like the video if you enjoyed it, and if you have any other questions before I put out videos, feel free to find me on Instagram at Hawaiian Merman. I do ask the merman questions there as well, and I also post up a lot of the merman and mermaid pictures and different critter pictures. Have a good evening, everyone. Aloha.